What up, players? It's Warboss Tampanis Mug. Welcome to a little video showcase where I am going over some Chemvar miniatures that I just painted for a commission. And uh, these are for the Mercs game. You might have seen my USCR miniatures that I did a showcase on a couple days ago. These guys are, going from the left, you've got your assassin, your leader, your heavy, and your trooper. Very simple color scheme and uh, very clean lines. They, uh, I think, look great with the single pose that they get. You kind of choose how your models will look when they're all built up. All of their arms and legs and heads kind of fit in just a, a very simply uh, a simple way and um, I think most of the bodies are actually built to be in the pose that they're in. So if, if anything you're adding like the hand with the sword or the hand with the pistol and um, you're not really changing the look of the model. And for models like these that have very dynamic and um, I mean just look at the leader. The leader's pose is just very action like snapshot uh, in the middle of the action and uh, it looks really really great. I think they wouldn't be able to do that if the model came in five or six separate pieces. So you're really looking at sculpting the model to appear mainly as it's going to appear like the pouches Games Workshop, some other companies, they, they do not attach the pouches. They leave them separate on the sprue and you attach them yourselves. But these already came sculpted on the torsos. I think it's a great idea if, if you can do it because it takes that one step out of it. And the pouches I did very simply with Mornfang Brown. Everything was shaded with known oil, including all the white armor plates to give it that nice line. All those lines you see in the middle. The... Um, Armor itself is Vallejo's Deck Tan. The grays are a mixture of Dawnstone and Mechanica Standard Gray. And the green is Castellan Green. The eye lenses were done with Deck Tan first, and then I kind of glazed them with Flash Gets Yellow, and I think it was um, Troll Slayer Orange. So a nice kind of a, a strange yellow-orange look that I think matches the models really really well, makes them look very inhuman and yeah I'm very pleased with the way they came out. The sword on the leader and the knife on the assassin were done with a base coat of Sotek green shaded with known oil like everything else and then highlighted back up with Tempo Guard blue. So this again was painted for commission and I uh, a lot of people um, Forget that I am a also a commission painter. I work on commission paint jobs and projects So none of these are in my collection, but I'm very happy to talk about my techniques my uh, My color schemes anything you want. So please leave a comment down below I haven't been as on top of responding to comments as as I'd like to be but uh, every once in a while I do get a chunk of time to just sit down at my laptop and hammer out responses to everybody that's been commenting. So I hope you guys like this little video. I'll put up pictures on my Facebook and my Twitter. And um, yeah, if you enjoy all of the free content that you're seeing on YouTube and on all my other social media outlets, and if you'd like to uh, chip in and um, donate to my studio, then I'll put the Patreon link as well as the PayPal link down below and you can do that there. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned. I've got two FCC models. That's the other faction included in this Merc set. And then I have a slew of interesting uh, commission projects that are on the to-do list right after this. So I uh, can't wait to show you guys everything there. There's going to be some Nurgles, some Blood Angels, just a lot of different stuff that I hope you guys will stay tuned for. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.